Faber. You gave your heart to Jesus when you were studying for the Bible Bee. When was that? Um, I would say that was probably in 2012. Um, that year was a really special year for me, and God really worked in my life that year. Oh, that's, that's awesome. I knew I loved this game show, and <laughs> hearing stories like that's even better. Are you ready to recite your passage? I am. All right, here we go. Please recite 2 Timothy 4, 1 through 8. 2 Timothy 4, 1 through 8. I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be ready in season and out of season, convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers, and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. But you be watchful in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. For I am already being poured out as a drink offering, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Finally there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. 2 Timothy 4, 1 through 8. Faba, if we could get you to stand in Washington, D.C., right at the steps of the Supreme Court and speak that verse. That's a verse for the nation. That's a verse right now where, it's, where the Apostle Paul is speaking, and, and he's very clear. He says, there is going to come a time when we're not going to endure sound teaching, mm -hmm. when we're just going to try to heap up for ourselves teachings that tickle our ear, our itching ears. And... But then he moves forward and he says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. You know, this spiritual walk that we have is a spiritual battle. It's mm -hmm. a fight. I mean, if you think about it in other areas of life, I mean, it's a fight to keep the weight off. It's a fight to study and to memorize. It's a fight to garden or to keep the lawn maintained or to pay the bills. It's a fight. It's the same way in our spiritual walk that it's a fight. So that verse means so much to me, and I, I'm very blessed and convicted that you have memorized that verse. And I've memorized chunks of it, but I'm different portions are kind of very gray to me. And I have a cool memory about Faba. Um, I don't remember what year it was, but it was one year in semifinals, and it was an intense round. And she was given the longest passage we had to recite. I think it was in Nehemiah somewhere. It was this... <laughs> <laughs> hunk of passage. It was huge. And she recites from the New King James, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. And so I studied from the New King James. So I was following in the audience. I don't remember exactly the context, but all of us were on the edge. Everyone was holding their breath. Did she get it? Did she get it? And she got that one word perfect. And just, she, her memories is just like that. It was oh, amazing. That's awesome. now, the whole room, you know, just. She nailed it. Great. Perfect. Yeah. I wonder if she's going to get this one perfect. I guess we'll see if we find out. But she just did. Good job, Faber. Way to go. Way to go. A thousand points. <laughs>